To learn WordPress, you are going to create a simple portfolio site. So to get started, you need to log in to your WordPress site. Now, if you have your own domain name or when you get your own domain name, then that domain name um, is hosted and whatever provider you're using, whatever package, uh, likely the default is a WordPress install or you have the ability to install WordPress. So it's pretty straightforward. And again, if you get your own domain, have your own hosting package, then you'll just go through that um, install process. Okay. Now I've already installed uh, WordPress for each of you and provided each of you a subdomain. So basically, if you just go to step one, what you're going to do first is log in to your WordPress theme and immediately change your password. Okay, so what you need to do is just open a browser of your choice and go to um, just type in your last name. Okay, now mine uses my first name. So you're going to go to your last name dot art 444 sdsu.com. Okay. Now this is your URL, but we need to log in. So go ahead and do forward slash WP hyphen admin and enter. Okay. So what you need to do is enter your last name. Okay. And then the default password, which is in step one on, um, on our um, exercise. Okay. So I'm just going to enter mine in here. And we will log in. And you should now be in your dashboard area. So the very first thing you're going to do is go to users. And you can go to all users. And you'll see that you will be the only user. You have the ability to add other users and establish their roles, uh, their, what they can and cannot access, what they can and cannot do. All right, so let's go ahead and edit. And you can explore this particular page, set up how you want your dashboard and your profile to look. That is entirely up to you. You just need to scroll down and you can go ahead and enter first name, last name, uh, whatnot, bio information. That's really up to you. Okay. Um, I've already added your email. If you want to use a different email to uh, have uh, contacts uh, sent to you or updates, then change your email. I just used the email that you use for school. You can add your own picture profile, biographical in information. What you need to do first though, is generate a new password. Okay. So whatever you want for your password, and then go ahead and update your profile. And then you should be good to go. All right. So that is the first step. Log in and then update or change your password.